Pedro here with AMP Reacts with Cesar from Perpetual Night. How are you today? Hi, Pedro. I'm, I'm glad to be here. It's a, a huge chance for me because I'm a huge fan of your channel. Well, I'm, I'm a huge fan of your music. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think the pleasure is mutual. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's get right into it. I, I Honestly, I loved your album. I, I uh, Well, I discovered you guys through the reaction video that we did. Then you guys were kind enough to send us your CD. So I've been uh, digesting that whole album. Uh, the album came out in April of this year. Uh, yeah. How was the creative process behind putting that kind of a record together? So uh, it's very sim simple. Uh, basically, Raul, uh, the lead guitar, and, and I wrote all the songs during 2017. And between September and December, we produced those songs. And then uh, we entered to Sadman Studio at in uh, January. So uh, the process, the creative process is basically I write lyrics when the song is composed and sometimes I write lyrics and then adapt those lyrics to a song that is composed after. Basically that is the creative process of Perpetual Night. Now do you guys work together uh, or do you guys work separate and then when the time comes to come to the studio each one of you guys brings your own pieces together or are you guys constantly in touch and exchanging ideas throughout the process both uh mostly raul uh wrote about um, the seventh percent of the music and i wrote the uh, the rest and i wrote uh, all the lyrics so we can write songs on our on our homes because we have both uh, at a home studio, and then we we share the song and give feedback to each other. Uh, when, uh, and then we decide to well, we we pick the songs that we think are the better, are the best. Sorry, and and then. Uh, Produce in on, in the home studio of Raúl, and then we we take those those songs to the big studio in Madrid in San Mai Studio. Uh, when I first heard you guys, you guys sounded so much like Wolfheart and and those melodic death metal bands that are coming out of Finland. Is is that a huge inspiration for you guys? Bands like that uh, for the sound that you guys create. So oh, yeah, of course. Basically, Walhar is my favorite band, <laughs> and, and I'm a, a huge fan of the whole career of Thomas. Uh, we think Walhar is one of the best band uh, at the moment, and so, um, uh, we think that three their three albums are masterpieces. So I am so excited for the next one. By the way, um, we are uh, a huge fan. Uh, of of uh, another ones like Sonium, Onium Gatherum. Uh, basically, uh, the metal from Finland is our biggest influence. Uh, however, we are not trying to copy Walhart, but when you live on a on a desert place like Spain, like Granada, uh, if you have uh, uh, only one snowy mountain, we thought that mountain was the best place to make a video. <laughs> 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 so of course, it, it, it the, the the funny thing about it is you you guys are huge fans of Wolfheart. I I first time I heard about you guys was from Wolfheart because Thomas posted he shared your video on on his Facebook page. Uh, how cool was that? Yeah, that was totally amazing because it's it's like uh, when you are a, a teenager and there is a rock star and you. See he, see him for the first time and take a picture with him. It's it's like that. So with your band, for me, it's is uh, to to be conscious of what uh, what we we have done, the the good work we have done. So that totally blow my mind. Yeah, I, I I can only imagine. I mean, that was to me 
the, how I first heard about you guys and, and saw that video. And then I know you guys had contacted us to, to check out your videos. Like, okay, if Thomas is endorsing this video, it has to be good. Like, I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? So that, that to me was, was a huge selling point. And, and sure not, once we check out the video, you guys are absolutely incredible. And speaking of the video, uh, any more plans to release any other videos, perhaps lyric videos, um, some playthrough videos, maybe like any plans at all? Yes, of course. Uh, we plan to make uh, a video for the song The Howling uh, this summer, and we we will release it on September. And uh, and also we are going to make uh, a couple of of videos more uh, perhaps for the song's absence of reality which is the the last one of the album and raindrops because without those songs are are the, the best ones for for videos now for for a band your size for you guys is it difficult to put budget together to make videos like how do you guys work out the financial of of, of making a video i'm sure it's not cheap yeah, it's t totally. We we obtain the financial uh, absolutely for our jobs, and and that's all. <laughs> it's basically uh, hard work. Yeah, you, you guys are basically using your your day jobs to pay for for your music videos. Yes, uh, for a for a small band, I think it's it's the only way. Yeah, I, I I totally understand that. I mean, the the economics of it, I can only m imagine. I mean, obviously, lyric videos would be a cheaper uh, process, but you don't get the same impact with a lyric video as you do with with a, a music video. Yes, um, here in Spain, it's a very common uh, thought. The the people think, okay, uh, we are going to pay to my friend. Or make a video for me, but if you want to 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 get something professional, you have to pay uh, to to someone professional. So uh, it's it's never uh, cheap to to pay uh, uh, someone to make things professional. So you you have to 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 spend your money. It's it's the only way. The the, the video you guys did for an admin. Uh, how did the idea for the video come about? Was it the the company that you guys hired to do the video that kind of presented that idea to you guys, or you guys had the concept in your mind of how you wanted the video to look like? Well, we 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 had a lot of uh, ideas for the video, but uh, in Sierra Nevada, which is the place uh, where the video is is, is filmed. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, for forbidden uh, to to make um, to make noise. So we we can we couldn't uh, make uh, we we couldn't boil the the drums there. So we we have we have to to change the idea for the video many times, uh, and finally. Uh, the the day before to to start uh, filming, we we thought the final idea, so it was very hard. And the the main idea idea it's uh, it's the the main concept lyrics uh, get. So we are we are happy with them, but but it can be. It, it could be um, more more epic. The video could be more epic, but it's, it, it is not in our hands. No, I, I think it's epic enough, man. That, that video is really incredible. I really like the fact mm -hmm. that you the scenery around you. Like, it really added to the story of the song. It, it was really, you, you kind of get lost in that scenery and then the music works itself almost as a soundtrack to that scenery. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. You, you said you're in Granada, in Spain. How is the metal scene there? Well, very hard. Uh, because in Granada, there are a few bands, a few shows, a uh, few support. Um, 
in in Spain, mm, there are very very talented bands, but people don't pay attention to new bands. The only chance to get uh, to get attention here is or to play in in a huge festival or to play with a famous band, which is very very complicated. So um, we are lucky for now because uh, we are covering expenses on this tour, but it's too hard touring in Spain and and the the scenery the the thing is is uh, is huge, but uh, it don't have the the attention that it deserves. Yeah, I saw I saw that you guys have a bunch of shows scheduled uh to in support of the new album uh are you really looking forward to going on the road and playing some shows in front of of a live audience yes uh mm, we are so excited for the show uh at uh iberian warrior metal fest uh which is in zaragoza it's a huge festival here uh, and also uh and on September, we will be in Sevilla with Celtiberia, which is a huge band from here, Spain. You must check out. Um, um, yeah, basically, those those shows, we are very, very excited. Now, you said that the metal scene in Spain is huge, but it's really hard to get recognition. How do you think is it possible for a band like yourselves or even other bands in Spain to really break the boundaries of that, you know, of that territory, and go in, in deeper into Europe, perhaps France, Italy, e even Eastern Europe, where metal is even bigger. Well, uh, at first, you have to to plan uh, what is you want with your band. If you if you want a band to play only in your city, um. Mm, a couple of times uh, uh, in, in in the year, so well you can uh, you can get a band for that and no problem. But if you if you want to make uh, the things uh, of a on a very professional way, you have to to spend money. You have to spend uh, a lot of your time. Uh, of course, you have to. To to um, well, you have to to get people uh, to get people and 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 those people have to think like you. If if the 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 band is is like a a, a business, I I know that. It sounds very bad, but but it, it but is 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 complicated. I I I I can express this in English very very well, but um, I think I know what you mean. Like everybody in the band has to be on the same page. Yeah. If if if, if one if if half of the band wants to go the professional route and the other half is just happy. Playing local shows, it's never going to work. And it, and you have to, to, to have in your mind that you make things for you, only for you. If you are, uh, if you are going to make things and make your music for the people, for the audience, you totally fuck up because it's very complicated and. Uh, it in, in Spain uh, there is a, an expression uh, and says uh, lo haces por amor al arte. In English uh, will be you make things for love to art. So don't think you you are going to get money. You are going to get girls. You are going to get uh, recognition and you know, around the world, so it's it's a very uh, pure thing to 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 get a band. 
Now, for you guys, you have the album out, you have a bunch of shows booked, but what are, uh, you have some videos coming out towards the end of the year. Anything else that you have planned for 2018? Are you guys trying to get anything else set up, perhaps uh, some shows outside of the country? W what are the band's plans for the rest of the year? Anything that you can share? Well, uh, to, to get out of the country, uh, we need to continue doing things as we have done so far. Continue touring, continue making videos, and of course, continuing taking care of the band. I am. I think it's a matter of of time that we will be out of Spain. We hope uh, to get out uh, on 2019. We hope, but for this for this year, the plans are uh, to make new videos and the second part of the tour, which begins uh, on September. And continue growing up and having fun at the same time. That is music and that is perpetual night. Yeah, having fun is important. I, I have uh, one last question for you. I, I could not have you on the channel and not ask you this question before you leave, considering the time that we're in. Who's going to win the World Cup? Oh, <laughs> that's hard, man. That's <laughs> so hard. I think I think Portugal is a uh, uh, a good thing. That is. The only thing I, I can say. <laughs> You're not picking Spain? No. No, man, because uh, I, I I don't like the way which they are playing on this cup. I don't. I don't like the way Portugal is playing either. <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I mean, we're Cristiano Ronaldo plus ten. What? Sorry. We're Christ The team is Cristiano Ronaldo. Plus ten other players. It's, yeah, we're we're but, very dependent on him. But we have the worst. Uh, well, De Gea, and uh, mm -hmm. Portero. In English, I don't. I yeah, don't the have, goalkeeper. I, yeah, we have the worst uh, goalkeeper of the history. So, <laughs> so let, let me ask you this: uh, Who, in your mind, should be Spain's goalkeeper? If you don't like De Gea. I'm not a big fan of De Gea myself. I think he's very overrated. But um, if, if you if you were the national team coach oh. and you're putting the team together, who's your goal number one starting goalkeeper for Spain? Oh, I don't know, man. Don't oh, tell me the, Casillas, I, because Casillas is too old to be. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. Maybe there is uh, that there is not a goalkeeper good enough to be. On the goal. I don't know. <laughs> I, th I think some of the best goalkeepers playing in Spain are, are not Spanish. You know, like you have yeah. All Black in a, at Atletico Madrid. You know, um, you have Navas at Real. So, like, you have a lot of good goalkeepers. But uh, I think De Gea is is the name that has um, it's is the more famous one because he's at a Man United, so he has all of that going for him. I think that helps him get to that spot. But I don't, I don't think he gives the team enough confidence. You know what I mean? Yes, I totally agree. Well, on that note, let me wish Spain and yourself a, a lot of luck for the rest of the tournament. Um, Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I, I hope you guys are successful, but not as successful as Portugal. So especially yeah. if they play again against each other. So uh, maybe they'll meet in the final at some point. Hopefully, oh, that would be nice. That, that will be interesting. Yeah, it would be a, a whole Iberian uh, clash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will be epic. Cristiano yeah, it would Ronaldo, be epic. Cristiano Ronaldo versus De Gea. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let's not forget Sergio Ramos. He's there too. So yeah. uh, it would be... It would be very interesting. It would be very interesting. So uh, once again, uh, thank you for your time, Cesar. Thank you for your time. Best of luck with the band in 2018 and going forward. Uh, I, I really think you guys uh, are incredibly talented. So it's only a matter of time before the rest of the world knows what some of us already know. So uh, best of luck. Thank you so much, Pedro, for this chance. It's uh, it's a the it's a very pleasure to me to, to talk oh, with it's, you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Take care. Thank you. Bye.